And we are live. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us. We are live with Chris Statlander and Caleb with a K. Okay. Uh, awesome. So thank you both for joining us today for, for this uh, live virtual meet and greet and autograph signing. Thanks for having us. Thank Sorry. you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, we'll get through. We've got a few people uh, going through in the back. I see Amelia back there. So, Amelia, I will let you in. We'll bring Amelia in. Uh, she'll get to chat with you guys one-on-one -on -one and sign. Uh, Amelia, I don't know what you wanted for your 8 by 10 so you'll have to let us know, okay, when we bring you in. All right. How's it going, Amelia? Hello. Good. How are you? Not bad. Which, uh, what 8 by 10 did you want? Um, the one with like that had a bunch of um Chris faces on it. This one, Chris yep. Faces. All right, so we'll get that one, Nick. The collage, yep. We got the collage right here. All right, I will back out and we'll let you guys do your thing. All right, that's my favorite one. Get <laughs> Uh, did you want me to sign this out to you specifically? You yes. Specifically? All right. I got a cheat sheet on how to spell everyone's name now. All right. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Pretty good. That's better, right? <laughs> Ugh. Got any questions for us? Either one of us? Um, what's been like your um, favorite thing in AW lately? Um, my favorite thing in AW. That's hard. There's a lot of things that I like a lot. Um, hmm. What do I like about my job? Hmm. Nothing. I'll stop it. Catering. I. There's just so much that I like. I, I really don't know, like, what specific one thing that I am, like, really loving. Um, I like that everyone feels like they're really kind of coming into their own as performers. I feel like we're really starting to, like, build a bond more than we ever have before. I think that's a really cool thing, to be, like, a part of it. Yeah. Final answer. Yes, is that okay? Do you have any questions for him? No, I don't care. <laughs> <Stop it. laughs> awesome. Well, thank you, Amelia, for joining us. You're welcome. All right. Bye. We'll talk to you soon, all right? Bye. Awesome. All right. And next up, we have Steve Martinez. Steve got uh, Chris's figure. That we one of ours, Nick. I'm searching. I'm searching. Give me a minute. He can go and start talking. Yeah, I'll bring him in, Steve. How's it going, Steve? Good. How you guys doing? Hello. Doing good. Caleb, Chris, how you guys doing? Not bad. Pretty how are you? Good. Uh, I have a couple questions. First one's for Caleb. Uh -huh. All right. So playing an iconic character, is Suicide. Was there any kind of like trepidation going into playing that? Since, you know, you go in the line of Kazarian, Daniels, Crazy Steve, TJP, you know, Austin uh, Aries. No, no, not really. Uh, it was kind of just an honor when, you know, they asked me to do it back in the day. Uh, it was kind of like, cool. I mean, these are – everyone who's done it has been a really good wrestler. And uh, mm -hmm. I just wanted to live up to uh, what they were doing. Yeah, well, you did a really good job with that. I'm a big yeah. fan of Impact and TNA, and now a fan of AEW. I've been since I seen uh, went to All In in uh, Chicago, the first one. Yeah. So, but uh, Chris, I follow you on Instagram, and I saw your journey with your knee. I had my knee replaced two years ago. I still have problems with it. So, yeah. How did how did you get the motivation to keep going with that? Uh, I had nothing else to do and nothing else to look forward to, mm -hmm. and I just kind of that, that like getting back to the ring was really the only thing I wanted to do. So that's all my focus went into that. And you can ask him; I was a psycho about it. Yeah, I saw your workouts. I mean, it was 
just a few, what, like a month or two after, you know, you had the surgery, you're sitting there doing squats and everything. And it was just, uh, right. I, I, I couldn't right. believe it. So, <laughs> but yeah. And was the goal always to hook up with the best friends when you came back or? Um, that was, it was an idea that I had. It wasn't something that we ever thought was actually going to happen, but mm -hmm. um, I'm very glad that it did. Yeah. Awesome. Well, you fit in perfectly there, but you know, thanks a lot for doing this guys. You're our first couple to do the asylum. <laughs> so oh, yeah. cool. There you Did go. You want me to uh, personalize this for you? Or? No, can you sign it and just give me a little boop on there or whatever? Okay. You can put uh, whatever you want. All right. It's all done now. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I know the line's long, so I'll let you guys go. And thanks a lot for doing this. And thank keep you. up the good work, both of you. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. All right. Thanks. Awesome, Steve. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thanks, Shiv. Right. Next up, we have John Dupree. And then John got a AW figure as well. So I'll add you to it. Line, John. How's it going, John? Hey, man. How's it going? Hello. Hello. Too bad. I'll bump out and you guys can chat. I just want to say you know i can't thank you enough for doing this uh and you know a lot for us being like i'm an autograph guy collector a huge wrestling fan and it means you know for some reason that is like uh my sense of relief you know it's like kind of a passion so like for something as simple as signing your name on something means so much to the people in, in the world that we live in uh, being collectors. And I just want to thank you and wish you guys, you know, just nothing but health and the best of luck and just continuing going forward. You know, it, 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 it truly is like doing this and uh, actually listen to the, the major wrestling figure podcast. I'm sure you, mm -hmm. you know about it. Like that just uh, kind of got me, at, get you out, away from bad vices or bad. Yeah. You know, you escape from the real world sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and I don't know why I like for people to write their name on stuff, but it's it, it brings me joy. Well, I'm glad. Did you want me to make this out to you, or just do the your favorite alien thing? Oh, I like your favorite aliens, my. Okay, but not right. Don't write to John. Oh no, no, no. If you don't mind, no. No. Okay. No, no just, just your name. Making sure. Make sure it's exactly how you want it. Oh, man, I appreciate yeah. it. Bam. Thank you so much. You guys are great. I appreciate it so much, you know. Stop it. Awesome. Thanks, John. Thank y'all. Thank man. you. Thanks. All right. Mark, I'm going to add you, but I don't see a device connected, so I don't know if we're just doing audio, Mark. So I'm going to add you, and we'll see what happens. Actually, it's not going to let me add Mike, Mark. So Mike, while you do that, I'm going to get Mike Mazzapelli's sign because I know he's not being able to make it on live today. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I will put Chris on. That's Mike, who cannot make it. Okay. Sorry, you couldn't make it, Mike. You know, a lot of these, not everybody that you see figure wise is going to be on live today. That's fine. So there you go, Mike. Oh, Mike. That is your figure. Thank you. I'm pretty. <laughs> I am. I didn't say a word. Why are you laughing at me? Because you're funny. I'll go ahead, awesome. Andy. All right, we're going to add Marcus. Uh, and he got, uh, he mailed in a figure. Marcus back. There we go. Marcus, how's it going? Hi, man? how are you? How are you guys? What's up? You got a question? Um, I don't know if it's a question so much as just like, yeah, I guess it is. Um, okay. So as like John just also referenced, I listened to the Major Wrestling Figure podcast. 
Um, and I thought it was really cool to hear, you know, Brian talk about how he got these figures from ringside, brought them to Impact, gave them to Caleb, so he could, like, give them to you and you got them quickly. Like, what's your – when you see that figure, like, how do you feel about that? Like – I don't know how I feel because I'm not like a huge action figure person. Um, so I feel like, like, I think it's, I do think it, that it's super cool. And it's so, I'm still looking, we're still looking to try and find it in person, like in a Target or Walmart someday. Yeah. Because I feel like that'll be a good, that'll be a moment where I appreciate it more, like seeing it out in the wild. Um, but I, I definitely don't. I, I feel like I don't appreciate it as much as other people do. And it, I, I just think it's just because I just have so little like awareness of a lot of things that I do in a way where it's like, I just don't understand like the gravity of the situation. I appreciate it. Uh, and, I mean, my, my follow-up was going to be, what do you think would be cooler? Like getting this figure or being in a video game, but it sounds like. I think, figure... I think I am in the AEW video game. Yeah. So, so I think that, that was first cooler. Year. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's weird because it's like in these ways you're like you realize that you're immortalized by these things, but yeah, I don't know. I, it's it, like it just takes a long, it takes a long time to hit me. Like I probably won't really like understand like all of this for like another two years. I mean, that's all, all, all with that stuff. That's a good way to put it, though, like being immortalized, because, yeah. you know, there's a saying that, like, you die twice, like, when you actually pass away, and then the last time someone talks about you. But if you have this figure, yeah. you know, or, like, that lives forever. So that The is video crazy. game or stuff like that. Yeah, exactly. It goes yeah. on forever. It's, it's, a, it's a weird feeling, and, like, maybe I just mentally and emotionally am not ready to, like, cope with that idea yet. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. It's weird over here. Okay. <laughs> Is there, there's a post-it on there that says to write. There's two. Um, uh, Dark green, galaxy's greatest alien. Yeah, perfect. Thank you. At first I was like looking, at, there's like a light green marker that I usually use, but I felt like that could blend in with your gear and I thought that this would like pop more off of it. Yeah, there's um like some neon ones that I've signed a lot of them with. Um, mm -hmm. But I appreciate the dark green. Uh, what's, I gotta do my name. I promise you'll get those from Marcus. I'm like the Ethan one. <laughs> oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank yeah. you so much. Oh, I just wrote the galaxy's greatest. I forgot Alien. Uh -oh. <laughs> no, I, I didn't was... see that either. So... <laughs> I knew I was missing something. There we go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much. This is awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Marcus. Everything for both of you. Thanks, man. Sure. I got Mark right here, Andy, that couldn't make it on live. All right, Mark Desara, we're doing your figure live. I'm going to zoom Chris and Caleb in here. And then we're going to get this one. Um, the uh, suicide just signed just an autograph on it. Since I do the red. Why can't I write words? Wow. So edgy. To Mark Dazara. Yep. Did Mark want his name on this? Uh, no, no, just signed. Sorry you couldn't make it on Mark. There's your item. Awesome, awesome. All right. All right. Next we have uh, Dan the Man. Dan got the AEW blue card, and he also got a dual Chris and Caleb uh, print I see on the list here. So let me add Dan the Man. Yep. That one, hey. right, Dan? Dan? What's going on? Hey. <laughs> Hello. What's going, Hello. On? What's going on, Chris and uh, Caleb? Not much. Just signing things for people. Sign you, know? Stiff. you know, you can probably sign that one, too, <laughs> if you want. I don't know. Think about it. I had uh, some questions. Uh, for sure. 
So, Caleb, uh, what's the best part of working with uh, the influence with Madison and Tennille? Um, it's pretty easy. <laughs> uh, they're, they're pretty easy going. It's a fun job. Uh, it's completely different than anything else I've done in wrestling. So it's uh, it's nice to try out a different side. You know, it's um, Caleb with a K is a is a character. And it's comp not exactly what I'm like in real life, so it's it's fun to just. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> it's fun to uh, to uh, try new things. That's the best part about it. Definitely. And uh, Chris, um, when you uh, popped out of the um, the toy claw machine, how long were you in there before you did that and attacked Penelope? Uh, the whole match. I was in there before they and they did entrances and stuff. I was in there the entire time. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. It was hot, and uh, I uh, don't really want to do it again. <laughs> the man. Here you go, man. Oh, there you go. All right. Awesome. Just making sure this dries because it's. I don't want to put it in the case and then it's weird. <laughs> exactly. That's awesome, definitely what it Looks like it. All right. Thank Thanks you. For us, man. All right. Take care. Thank you, everybody. All right. Next up, we've got John Wilson. And John got the dual 8x10. We'll add her in. Slam. Hi. Hello. Hello. I don't, I don't this know. is Kira. She has no I idea what to say. I'm super excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm big fans of both of you. So it's. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> she got the 8 by 10 of both of you, the yes, dual yes. signed. Yes, of course. And you want us to make this out to you? Like, personalize yeah. it? Okay. Yeah. And she wants Caleb to sign it to Kira with a K. Okay. Okay. So you sign that part there, and then I'll just write. What do you want to ask her? I haven't even signed it. Oh. Well, you're... You have this right to Kira. Is it? Can you spell Kira? Is it K-I? It's K-E-I. C-R-R-A. Well, I messed that second A up. It's Next. a second R. Second R, whatever. K-E-I-R-R-A. Uh, okay. All right, there you go. Can you see it? Tequila. That's okay. perfect. Thank you, guys. So, you what so brought you into wrestling? Yeah. Which one? Both, Both of you. Of you, yeah. okay. you. You have a better story. <laughs> um, I was kind of born into it. My dad was a big fan uh, growing up. Uh, he then later got into it. He was also in the music business, so we kind of went back and forth. Uh, I kind of went back and forth a little bit as a child, <laughs> trying to figure out what I was going to do. And then I was better at wrestling than being a musician. He so. has zero musical abilities. <laughs> well, your brother is musical, right? I'm a very musical person. No, you're not. Much. I can do anything <laughs> mind to it's an, and i didn't put your, my mind to music i put my mind to isn't wrestling. your brother yes much mind. more musically inclined than you are <laughs> inclined he tried harder at it he's not a good wrestler because he did try at it We're gonna <laughs> live on the asylum so what about you chris um so i didn't know what wrestling was and then i tried stunt doubling stuff and then i met a friend who was a wrestler and he was like you should try this and i was like all right and then here i am wow that's cool yeah, that's cool to see that you both were on completely different paths and to see where you ended up. That's pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. I think I think like I feel like I just have to say I didn't like wrestling that much until I saw like you, Chris. Like it was amazing. Oh, thank you. The coolest thing ever is why I love AEW so much. I I had no idea what wrestling was <laughs> even when I started it. So. Well, she's definitely an AEW fan. Mm -hmm. All the kid wears is AEW t-shirts. I mean, I'm wearing Moxley now. Yeah, she's got nice. Mox on right now. Nice. Well, thank All you right. So well, much. thank you guys so much for doing this. Yes. Thank you. Enjoy. You guys have an awesome day. Good time. Thanks for joining us, Kira. Yeah. All right. Conversation at Thanksgiving is how the joke Next how up, eat one half we of the stuff. Yeah. Billy Badass. Billy Ann Wolf is next. Billy. His name is Billy Billy Wolf. Hi. Hello. Am I personalizing this figure to you or just signing it? Uh, that would be great. If you could write Billy Badass, that would be awesome. Yeah. But Billy works too. Um, I'm going to write Billy Badass. Don't you worry. Yay. Let me 
civilian badass. Don't be. Yes, exactly. <laughs> don't try. I don't and be know. Funny. My dad always tried to convince me my name was actually Wilhelmina. So. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So, Chris, I have to ask you. Yes. Um, who's your favorite friend of the best friends, and do any of them measure up to Caleb? And do any of them measure up to him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, all of them are so annoying in their own ways. Um, That's true with all my, my guy friends. Yeah. Of the best friends, honestly, I think Trent is my favorite because he's the nicest to me specifically. Nice. I know. It's very shocking. It's that is kind of shocking. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, don't ask any other further questions about that. I'm not going to get into it. Um, but do okay. any of them amount to him? Honestly, all of them are just like equally annoying <laughs> and equally <laughs> me. But I love you the most. Aww. See? Well, you guys are adorable. And I oh, just thank you. Congratulations on your success, <laughs> both of you. Thank you so much. You. You're welcome. I know there's yeah. probably a huge line, so I don't want to hold you up. No, you're <laughs> fine. You're fine. Well, thanks, we Billy, for joining us. We're just thanks, Chip. See you guys. Have a good one. Bye. Bye. All right. So next up, we have Lexi, and Lexi got the eight by ten collage of Chris. Hi. Hello. I think this is bigger than an eight by ten. Yeah, and they're only eleven by fourteen. <laughs> yeah, these. This is big. So you got lucky, Lexi. This is eight by ten. All right, Lexi, we we made them 11 by 14, so even better for you. Yeah, so it's huge. It's like a poster. I see you got the best friend shirt on. Who's your favorite best friend? Oh, is she frozen? Oh, I forgot to put this on the Billy oh, Badass fine. one. Thank you. Oh, she, oh, no, I think she might be frozen. Lexi. Oh, no. While she unfreezes, uh, Amelia was on earlier and got to get her collar. Oh, no. I'm going to at least autograph this one. Lexi, I'm going to remove you and then uh, we'll bring you back. back on. Uh, that was for Amelia. She's already been. Yeah. I forgot to hand you a couple. That was on me. That was my fault, Andy. That's for Amelia. All right. So this is signed for Lexi. I'll just put this over here. Alrighty. All right. So we'll bring Dan in. And Dan got the 8x10 uh, of Chris with the Galaxy. This one? That one. Is that the right one, Dan? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't expect me being my turn already. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh, I'm texting my friend. My friend and me are, like, big fans of you, Chris. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so she like she's like, oh, my God, you know. You're gonna meet her. I'm so jealous. And I'm like, I oh. should have been on. <laughs> I know. She lives in Puerto Rico right now. So oh. I'm actually from uh, uh Long Island. So Oh, nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, I I known you. I like we're okay, so it's a funny story. It's not much of a question, but it's like um actually um, I started um, training, like I, I went to a training seminar for Creative Pro and there was like this moment where I think it was you, but I'm not sure, but you held the door for me. Like when I was going into the, like when I was going into the place and oh, yeah. I, like, I don't even know. I just recognize you for I, some reason. I, I'm just so kind. I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's just a small little detail. Uh, small well, little detail. I, I hope it was me doing a nice thing for someone. Um, yeah, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, it was, yeah, it, was like it. <laughs> it was nice though. Like it was like a it was like a weird memory. I don't know. <laughs> well, but, that's that's a cool weird memory to have. I yeah. appreciate that. Did you want me to personalize this to you specifically? Um. um yeah. Sure. To Dan. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Bam. <laughs> they say that so many times I can't. I love it. Your original is what he's saying. Care. No, no, Caleb, no. Mm -mm. 
Awesome, right. Dan. Well, thanks for joining us today. No problem. You tell your friend we say hello. Yeah, no problem. Long Island Pride. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Andy, let me, uh, I don't know if Benji's watching, but he's not going to join us. So I'm going to get his two figures signed right now. Wow. All right. Benji, when you're watching, these are your figures. Benji. Benji Montoya. Autograph with inscription. Luke. I like this blue. This is a nice blue. And then shades. And Lexi is back. She got her phone working. It died, and we'll get her in. Oh, Lexi's back. Yeah. Time. So back in a sec. All right, Benji, if you're out there, you're welcome. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Sure. Nobody wants to see me. All right, Lexi. Let's do this again. Hi. Back. She's back. Uh, I see you're wearing best friend shirt. Who's your favorite one? Boris Cassidy. Makes sense. So I have this here signed for you. Did you want me to personalize this like to you specifically? Yeah. Yeah, to Lexi? Okay. Oh, Lexi. Boom. It's a bunch of me forever for you. I'll hand this over. Thank you. You got any questions for us, Lexi? What is your favorite moment in your wrestling career? Um, coming back from injury, for sure, is my favorite. It's a good moment. It's like all my hard work has paid off and people were excited for me. That felt really good. What is your favorite moment? When you came back from injury. Okay. Get him out of here. <laughs> awesome, Lexi. Well, thank you for your joining us, and I'm glad that we were able to get your phone working again. So, Thanks for coming back. Bye. All right, Lexi. Bye. Enjoy the rest of your day. All right. And we have Sean Jones and his little man without this all. It's a little girl. Sean Jones. I'm sorry about that, Sean. Embarrassing. What's going on, Sean? Hello. How are you guys? Hello. Doing good. Doing great. Just autograph for you. Um, yeah, and if you want to put an inscription, whatever your favorite inscription is. Ugh. Let's I just I want to tell you guys thank you. You oh, know, me and my you. kids connect on wrestling. Um, I actually have her watching wrestling with me every Wednesday. <laughs> Uh, we don't like the up north product anymore. Um, so AEW is a very the best thing that's happened in a long time. Well, thank you, thank you for your support. I so appreciate that. We appreciate everything, and thank you for uh doing what you do. Your leader, your leader, me. Wait, the sticky note. Just for you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. You, you too. Be the baby. Shot. Say bye bye. The baby. <laughs> sure, how do you like hosting your first show? Has the nerves left your system yet? Oh, yeah, buddy. Easy, easy. All right. So, next up, we got. Been watching you. It's all good. <laughs> We've done this before. Many yard sales. Uh, we got Jerry next. Jerry got. The uh, 11 by 14 collage, which has been upgraded, I guess, from 8 by 10. It's been, mm -hmm. upgraded. It's been this size the whole time. <laughs> so how's it going? Pretty good. How are you doing? Oh, doing really good. Awesome. My weekend off. I work Monday through Friday. Yeah. I don't get to watch, like, a whole lot of wrestling because my work schedule, you know? Oh, well, I hope on the weekends you can find some time to catch up on everything. Oh, yeah. Hey, Chris, uh, Caleb, are you a Packer fan? I am. Did you hear How'd what you know? happened to Devontae? I don't want to talk about it, man. It's, oh, uh, 
I hope Bummer. No Bummer, though. I'm very upset. Oh, yeah. He'll do very well with the Raiders. Oh, yeah. Um, If you guys could fight anyone in WWE right now, who would it be and why? Fight every one of them. Cameron Grimes. <laughs> Cameron Grimes is a punk ass. <laughs> I'll fight him, too. And it's like, you know, just it's an awesome thing that you guys do, you know, because people can't always come out and do these things in person, you know? Yeah. Especially with COVID going on right now, you know? Mm -hmm. Yep, it's pretty convenient for everybody, I think. Did you want me to make this out to you specifically? To uh, yes. Okay. Oh, Jer Jer. Why do you have to... Jer Jer Binks. Shut up. Why do you have to add old something to everyone's name? Because. Just relax. Personal. Right. There you go. Friends. But you do it to everybody. Yeah, I do. To Jerry. So, do Thank you guys you. like sports like baseball or do you have a favorite baseball team or football, basketball? or? I grew up watching the Mets. The Mets were the my Mets? the Mets were my family's team. Yeah. So I always watched, well, my dad was a Yankees fan, so every time we would, there would be a Yankee game, him and I would go to the Target Field and watch. Mm hmm. Because I wouldn't let him go by himself because that's just dangerous, you know? Yeah. Can't let people be out here going to sporting events. No. On their own. No. No, that's, that's definitely not true. I mean, that's definitely true. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for jumping in and joining us today, Jerry. Thanks, Thanks Jerry. Jerry. I talk to you later. All right, man. Have a good one. All right, next up, we've got yeah, yeah. John Perry. John Perry got a Chris Statlander figure. Let me add John to it. John Perry. John Perry said, Look what I got on. Wow. Yeah. Like you. Uh, thank you. And you're my icon. And what you just said, um, let's go Mets. I'm a Mets fan, too. Nice. Yeah. Let's go Mets. Yep, plus I got my title belt with me. Wow. You and got plus, one before I ever did. Who did you beat for that? I beat a friend of mine. Plus, I watch Impact. Okay. Oh. You know who you my... Madison Reigns is one of my favorite. You're one of my favorite. And um, another girl. I'm trying to think. The Iconics. Yep. The Iconics. <laughs> Both of them. All of them. And I would like if... Rick Baker had a, a rematch for the title. I think you deserve it. Thanks. One day, one day, hopefully. Did and you want me to personalize this to you? Anything you it? want. Anything? I'm going to write to John Perry on here, okay? okay. okay. I'm not going to write that. And I can't wait for WrestleMania. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because I feel something. Somebody's coming back. Oh, yeah. Maybe from AEW, because the open know, doors. Because the I, open doors are open at WrestleMania. I have no information. I, I would like to see Cab in the the Royal Rumble. It's like they're doing the Andre the Giant. Oh yeah. Well, come on, Vince. And we'll find out. Come on, Vince McMahon. If you're watching this, do it for the fans. Yeah. Okay, Vince McMahon. If you're watching. <laughs> awesome, John. Thank you. Last thank, money. thank you. Thank you. Thanks for coming out, man. You too. All right. We've got stuff. We've got Nicholas, and he's got two figures. How's it going, Nicholas? Oh, you're muted, buddy. Oh, there we go. Okay. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Uh, hey. So, uh, one of those is actually for my wife. She's. I'm Blow assuming the one that says to Jade, my favorite human, is yes. for her. <laughs> Do you have any color? Does she like pink? Uh, green. Green? Yeah. Ah. yeah. We're gonna do the, I like this light green color. To Jade. Not Jade Cargill, right? No, no. <laughs> Definitely not. And actually, can you, add, can you add a boob on there, too, after that? Sure. This is going to be her uh, surprise birthday present next month, Ooh. actually. So nice. She likes it. 
Yeah, imagine she's like hates me. It's so embarrassing. <laughs> no, she's like you are definitely her favorite. So, all right, just gotta make sure because that would that would ruin everyone's day if you get <laughs> your least favorite person's figure. All right, two. Ah, it's awesome. Boom. And then this one, the second one is just signed. Yeah, yeah. It's just, I'm going to put that in my collection of figures. So. <laughs> Sounds fair. Boom. Awesome. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Now you see why I told you it'd be hard to try to sell some of your stuff. We don't have much time yeah. to try to Yeah. <laughs> All right, Nicholas. Well, thanks for joining us today, man. All right. I appreciate everything on that. See you, Nick. All right, buddy. See you soon. Thanks, Nicholas. Good. All right. Let's do some folks that couldn't jump in with us, um, unfortunately. So, Nick, I'm going to go through some of the lists. You can grab the item, have them hold it up, and then we'll go on to the next item. Go with it. I'm ready. All right. Let's do um, – do you have Brandon Sam Simpson stuff? Simpsons. I know I got it. I just got to find it. Yep, he had a melon gold AW card and a melon suicide card. Give me one second. Suicide's got a card? Yeah, Brandon Simpson. Cool. Oh. Yes. I got it right here. You don't need those. Brandon Simpson. Simpson. You don't need gold glasses. Yeah, Everyone you don't need glasses. Everyone on the record, Caleb with a case, glasses are fake. Oh. Oh, just... Just so everyone out all the teams. Everyone out there. there. Can, 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 yeah, question. that's not news to anybody. I wear contacts, but I'm not wearing them right now. My glasses are right here. I just didn't want the glare. So we had a fan question for you, Chris. A fan would like to know who thus far have you not faced that you would like to? Um, Serena Deeb. That would be a great match. How about how about uh, on the main AEW roster right now? Um, what do you mean by main? Because Serena's on the roster. Well, they, let me rephrase their question. They mean like I guess that uh, is on Dynamite and Rampage all the time. Like I guess one of the champions I, or oh, let's see. what they mean. I don't know. Because there's a lot of people that I haven't faced there. John Moxley. Okay, John Moxley. <laughs> yeah. Sure. All right. That would probably be a pretty good match. Oh, All right. Yeah. It would be my funeral. Brandon, Next one. Next one, Nick, is Aubrey Woodall in your dinner Two cards, Aubrey blue. Woodall. Aubrey Woodall. All right, Aubrey Woodall. I have to find you over here somewhere. What type of match would you have against Moxley? That would be pretty interesting. Um, it would literally be a last man standing because I would die and I would never be able to stand again. Did you say a thumbtack match? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. What was that? A, literally a thumbtack match. Just, you would just the ring just be entire thumbtacks? Is that it? Yeah, like there's never been a thumbtack match. There's been those. Alrighty. There's your card, Aubrey, that's been ready to get signed. Is that all he had, David? He had two cards. He'd like them signed in blue, I believe. Or the, I, mean, I assume he means the colors blue. Pink has been popping, I will say. She, I, yeah, I the pink, I, yeah, the pink shows up really well. Yeah. I don't know how the blue would show up on here. I would yeah, I, do I, pink. Brad, Aubrey. I'm sorry, Aubrey. <laughs> He'll be okay. Pink will work. Yeah, I can really do good. orange. The orange works really well, too. Yeah, stick with pink. I like pink. Fine. Nick knows I love pink. All right. See? You see how that pink pops? Yeah, it's perfect. Aubrey. Yeah, blue shown it. It's fine. Perfection. Thank All you. Right. Next one, Nick, is Charles Wilson, mail in figure. Alrighty. Behind the scenes today, Charles Wilson. Yeah, they are so unorganized here. <laughs> 
Charles. Signed and boot. Signed and boot. Hold on to that for me. Hmm. Look you. This is the same yellow. Get the boot up, Pete. Yeah. Love me a good yellow. To Charles Wilson. There you go, Charles. For you. I'm going to hand you Bill Bud Jr.'s because I know he's not coming over. Bill Bud Jr. Bill Bud Jr. It's a great name. Right. Bill. This is the easy part of the show. You don't actually have to talk to people, you can just sign. Don't worry, we can all She has to talk to me, though. Huh? She has to talk to me, though. <laughs> <laughs> nobody, nobody wants to talk to you. We don't want to do our shows at six in the evening. Yeah, you know, prime time. But I don't really feel like driving three hours back home at about eleven o'clock tonight. So yeah. Where are you guys at? Virginia. Okay. Bill Bud Jr. Bill Bud Jr. All right. This is going to be Parker. I don't want to butcher your last name, so I'll just say Parker. Ritzert. Ritzert. Parker Ritzert. I think I got that right. No. Sorry, I know I'm going over you, David. It's just easier for me to grab the ones I've already lined up that I know aren't coming on. That's fine, man. Whatever's easiest. Uh, Ben asked if you ever come to Canada to perform. Have you guys ever gone to Canada or on your list? I've been to Canada a few times, yes. I've wrestled in Toronto a couple times in the surrounding areas. Maybe Windsor. Not... I don't know. Which, which one's right above Detroit? Danger. Windsor, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's Windsor. Danger, your figure's being signed right now. As we speak. I'm doing a good job on these last names. There you go, Dan. Appreciate you, brother. I know you're watching. A lot of people don't like to jump online and get nervous. That's oh, fine. This is for I'm Jeff nervous too. <laughs> I bet. That's for Jeffrey. Elvecchio. Elvecchio. There you go. I was going to say, Vecchio. these, are, these Vecchio. are some nice Italian, Long Island <laughs> Italian last names right here. Pink or light green? Or did pink? No. It says or. It doesn't say and. So we had a question for Chris. I don't know. You might have already said this with Serena, but they're asking. They love your matches. What would be a dream match be if you could have fought anybody? Um, yeah, I, or Serena is someone that I haven't faced yet. Um, there's so many people that I just want to wrestle. You know, I just want to punch them. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's so hard. It's so hard to so hard to decide. Just give me everyone on the roster that I haven't wrestled yet. How about that, Jeffrey Del Vecchio? Jeffrey Del Vecchio. This one's going to be to Dan. This is Dan Kramer's print. He cannot make it with us today. Uh -huh. To right, Dan. After this one, we got Good someone backstage to come in. Hey, you got back there, David. I'll find the figure so we're not. Anna, and excuse me, Anna, I apologize. Tentaris. You can correct me when you come on. <laughs> there you go, Dan Kramer. Like, let's Kramer. see. What did Anna, Miss Anna, have? Anna? Anna? She had the 8 by 10 well, now the 11 by 14 collage. We'll let her in and we'll drop it. Is this real? Oh, shit. Hi. Hello. What's up? Oh, uh, just uh, hanging out. Yeah, having fun. Yeah. Would you um, like me to personalize this to you, Anna? Yeah, um, that'd be cool. Okay. I would appreciate it. Uh, and then A. Boom. To Anna. Hell yeah. Thanks. 
breaking shit. Um, I just want to say, I think it's really cool that you are into like intergender matches. Um, I really appreciate it. Don't want to I that. would have been not even half the performer I am today if it weren't for intergender matches. So, yeah, I go most of my career to every man that I have wrestled, including this one. She tried to break my neck. <laughs> that was your fault. It was your fault. Amazing. Um, yeah, no, I don't want to be like a hyper feminist, but like I do comedy. I'm so like I really appreciate like the I don't know, recognizing that like working with men isn't like an issue and it can actually like make you be stronger. Whatever. I just think you're cool. Um and thanks. Yeah. I, I totally understand what you're saying without like having to say so many words trying to explain it. Yeah. I get it. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Thank but, you. Um, yeah, no problem. Thanks for being my fave. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Oh, you awesome. Thanks Thank for coming, you. Anna. All right. Let's do Scott Caldwell, because I know he's not going to be on with us. What name was that, Nick? Scott Caldwell. Okay. Yeah, I think Fan asked, who did you guys both fight in your first matches? I fought this girl who I was training with. Her name was Izzy McKenna. I think she still does some stuff in the local Long Island area. New York, New Jersey stuff. Not positive. Okay. I wrestled uh, a guy who I trained with named Bobby Moore. Uh, he still wrestles around Georgia, Tennessee, Alabama area. He was uh, part of Jimmy Rave's Jimmy Rave approved crew for a little bit. It was terrible. <laughs> we were both training for about mm, two months, maybe. Yeah, my my I think mine wasn't terrible for a first match. It was I was technically six months of training in, but it was eight months after I started because two of those months I was out with a broken heel. So I wasn't like in ring training. So this one is for Javier Cardoso. Just autograph? Yes. Do a nice blue here. For Yours is being signed now, Javier. 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 This is Javier, Nick. Cardoso. Yes. If that's your name, this is for you. <laughs> Find it blue. I like that blue. Yeah. Derek Walters. Derek, your figure's being signed live. Derek Walters. Hold up. There we go. Beautiful. Nice blue on there. Yeah. Switch it up. Someone asked, are you team in, uh, did you ask that already, Andy? Team inspiration, team influence? I didn't ask, no. So they're asking, is Caleb team inspiration or team influence? Well, I mean, definitely team influence. Always. 100%. Till death. Life. We're going to go with Nate Williams on this one. He wants his autograph, wants the autograph, and boop. Okay. Sometimes I forget which one's which because the names are so similar. Influence and inspiration. inspiration. Like, it's, it's the same thing, basically. Yeah, that's the gimmick. That's the story. Sorry, brain part. Auto boop. Auto and boop. So, Nate Williams. Nasty Nate Williams. Shut up. A lot of people go back and watch the show later. Yeah, they do. They're already being signed. Caleb, who would you? Who is the dream opponent for you? John Cena. Shut up. John Cena, that'd be great. That's, a That's cool match. not real. Why is that not real? He's lying. Because we said it too jokingly. You don't mean that. Uh, that was quick. He does want to wrestle John Cena though. That's pretty quick. I want to wrestle Dean Malenko. He's not going. He's not wrestling, but I would love to. Um, that that's believable. 
His Texas Cloverleaf was pretty brutal, though. Yeah, Dean Malenko was one of my favorite wrestlers growing up. Until he broke your heart. Until he broke my heart. <laughs> when I was extra talented WWE, he told me I looked like a security guard for Toys R Us. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this one will be for Brandon Mayu. Well, you proved him wrong. You're doing good now, so. Yep, you proved him wrong. I'm wearing a neck brace and a bow tie. <laughs> this one's Brandon's, David. Brandon Mayu. Okay. Here you go, Brandon. Nice. Sorry, you All right, we got Chas backstage next, so we'll bring Chas in, okay? All right. Tell me what you Hello. Bro, you brought me online? Yes. Yo, I'm not in a closet. <laughs> you can hear me perfect, too, right? Yeah, we can hear you great. Oh, I got an iPad. Usually, I you guys can't hear me. It's like, Hello. The phone sucks. So, I got, yeah, I got Chaz, what times by both of you. What eight by ten did you want, man? I got I got the suicide one and then the Charlotte like edit of from Caleb and then the galaxy collage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one or uh, he's from the love. The collage. And then that one or the collage. Is he sick right here? So oh, I feel better. Yeah. Are we Say hi to him. Or you wanted two Chaz or two Izzy? Say or... Chaz with the S from Caleb with the K. Okay. <laughs> Chaz with the S? Yeah. Okay. From Caleb with the K. And then right. Suicide School. Um, and then... I'm going to do, do yellow on this one. Happy Chief you want to say hi too? And then little man wants to say what up. <laughs> oh my god, so many little little babies. Just I'm done with two. <laughs> done with two. Two chess right here. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> and uh I don't like the Mets, but I like the Nets. <laughs> That's fine. I don't I don't watch. Mets anymore. Uh, hey. don't, tell, don't tell Brian. I was watching. I was like, well, I got time to buy in. So. And then, uh, awesome. There you go, man. Thank Appreciate you. Dang it. Be watching you guys on one of the days. <laughs> so much Every day of the week now. That is true. There's a lot of wrestling. Yeah. Hands up, kids. Yeah. All right. Shout out to Shiv. Thanks for coming in, Chaz. Always a pleasure. So much. I'm glad you're not in a closet today. Daddy. Yeah. Daddy. And I'm not in a closet. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks, buddy. Right. Thank you. Shiv, I'm going to pull some of these out if you're all right with it. Yeah, I'm going to pull them up and we'll get pump some of these out. And then we got Dan backstage after. All right. Uh, Jose Diaz. And I tried to write on that. My handwriting sucks. So Oop, there it is. That is yours, Jose. Yeah, maybe if it is, it should be good. Yeah, it is. Got you another shirt. There huh? you go, Jose. There it is. No. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an old school 90s rap. Thank you. You have Dan on if you want, uh, Andy. That's fine. Somebody I got his uh, ring right here. Oop, there it is. You going. Hey, hey. What's going on, Jim? What's going on, Dan? Hey, hey. Chris, how you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. So my question for you is, is if you were to have any other gimmick, what would it be? Who? You. Ooh, me? Yeah, if you had any other, if you were to pick to be any other, like, anything, what would it be? Oh, uh, I don't know. Like a corporate, like, I don't know, like, snobby person. I don't know. I love your character. I do. I love your, you're like one of the most original characters there is. But I always ask, if you could do something else, what would it be? Hmm. Should be Richard Simmons' sidekick. <laughs> sure. Be like a Simon Diamond type of thing. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> oh no. And who in AEW are you looking forward 
if you haven't wrestled them, who are you looking forward to wrestling? Um, I did say Serena D before, but Serena another D. one, another one um, that I would I enjoy. Okay, so we have. Uh, so she and I, we've sort of wrestled a little bit, um, and we had a singles match on the Jericho Cruise. Uh, me and Jamie Hader. Yeah. I'd love to work with her again. Yeah, I like her too. She's just raw. I like the raw, not like you go in and you wrestle. You don't have to do all the, you know. The show, you guys are both that way. You both go in, do your thing, and just get it done. Yeah. So that's what I love about you. You're, Man, you're to the point. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Awesome. The food questions, Dan. You're the chef. Food questions. Chef. Food questions. Yeah. What's your favorite? What's your favorite meal? Dinner. Well, like, what would you like to eat? Like. <laughs> <laughs> I I love egg drop soup. Egg drop. I like making egg drop soup with chicken I and carrots it. and ginger. Oh yeah. I like Thai food. Thai. Yeah. I'm yeah, curry probably my favorite. Curry. Yeah, I can do curry. I'm not into like the cooking with the different spices. I do mostly uh, steaks, burgers, seafood. I mean, I love nope. a good steak. I love a good burger. So. Oh yeah, we do our our popular thing here is our prime rib. Um, we go through, a, we sell out every time. So where do you work? Uh, the barn restaurant in Prosser, Washington. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'll look it up for there. Yeah, I can't wait for you guys to come to Seattle. I'm sure it'll be coming soon. And when you guys come to Seattle, I'm there. I'm closing this place down and driving to Seattle because I ain't missing no AEW show that close. Yeah. To me. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we can make it out soon. But like, I'm sure. Bring I hope so. With you. Bring us some food. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, I could. Yeah, or yeah, we can find a, food. Have them have them find you a little place as a kitchen. I'll come cook for you guys for free. I don't care. Perfect. <laughs> I'll Perfect. set it up. Awesome. Awesome, Dan. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. See you later. See you, Dan. Someone's coming. All right. Next up we have Nicholas. And Nicholas got the 11 by 14 collage. So let me add Nicholas. All right, Nick, how's it going, man? What's up, guys? What's up, Shiv? What's up, Chris? Hello. What's up, Caleb? How are you guys? I'm well. Good, How Nick. are you? Good, good, good. Um, I got I'll make it short and sweet. Um, I got one question. How do I don't know if it was answered already, but how do you guys came up with your signature for Chris? Um, well, it's my name mm -hmm. in cursive. And then uh, because of the whole space thing, I drew a planet, but I made it like a Saturn because it would have just been a weird circle if so I didn't that's, draw the rings. That's what the O means? The, the Saturn? It's a it's a planet, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Surprise. Wow. I, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah. Right. Do you uh, want this personalized to you, Nick? Uh, no, not personalized. Nick, but Okay. Well, there's there it is. Okay. What and color? What, oh, black. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. I want. Is black not good enough for you? Do you want me to like jazz it up think, a little bit? Do you think it pops? It, it's good. Do you think it pops up? I'll no. I'm gonna jazz this one up a little bit. Let me see. Do whatever like, you want. I just want. To, I just want like the pop so I can hang up. Oh, it's gonna pop. Don't you worry. Hmm. That'd be a good match between you and Serena D. That'd be good. I like to see that. One day. See, look, I did like a cool outline thing there. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool. Thank you so you much. You know, it's unique. One of a kind. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Our you, guys. Nicholas. Thanks, guys. Have a great day, all right? Thank you. Thanks, Thank Nicholas. You. Bye. All right. Uh, Nick, we have Nicholas H. Um, an 8 by 10 but it actually doesn't have it listed, so I don't know which one he's getting, Nick. <laughs> Come on, Nick. Oh, he's not, he's not here. This was a not live. There's nobody. Uh, was oh. oh, okay. We're going to give him the... Let's give him this, this one. The legend. She likes the legend. Cool. All right. So that one to Nick. Who? Did we get a Caleb one, dude? Who? Uh, this one's inscribed. No, this one's just inscribed to Nicholas. N I C O L A S. 
N I C O L A S. That's correct. Yep. Yeah. No H. There you go, Nicholas. Um, got an H. Here, yeah, wherever you want it. Yep. All right. Uh, Next up is Jimmy Forbes. He got the unrivaled figure, Nick. Action he would like figure. It. Yeah. Yep. The unrivaled action figure. Uh, and he would like it personalized favorite alien boop. And your signature. I had my room on it. Oh, man. Technical difficulties over here. Oh, no. Uh, a cus or a customer <laughs> had asked um, if you guys could have a dream fatal four way match with anybody from any era, who would it be? Who would the other three people be in your matches? Oh man, I have a hard enough time picking them one. I Maybe know three. fatal four way. Jeez. Uh, hmm. Any combination of the best friends, which can whoop their butts sometimes, you know. All right, all right. Al Perez. Of course you don't know Al Perez. <laughs> Rick Rude and Billy Jack Haynes. Okay. The, the most random people I could think of off the top of my head. <laughs> surprised you haven't gotten any questions about your lizard. Oh, we should have brought her. Apes. My wife was actually hoping. Oh, no. <laughs> go home and get her. Go home and get her? <laughs> no. I'm just crawl around. She's scary into the office. There yes. you go, Jimmy. That is yours. And Andy, I'm going to do Jeff Morlocks next. And I think you want to just sign. Are we, are, we adding, are we adding Jeff in? Ooh, that's nice. Jeff's right here. Says thank you. There you go, Jeff. I know Jeff. you're watching. Warlock the Warlock. All right. This is Dennis Fowler. He wants to just sign. Your figure is being signed to Dennis. Sorry you couldn't make it. Dennis. There you go. There you go, Dennis. Uh, Brian Wynn. I'm going to say the G is silent. Maybe I'm wrong. Quinn. Quinn. My handwriting sucks. <laughs> you get that one, David? Brian. There you go, Brian. Yep. I'm trying to know what they did to your last name if we can get it to focus. It's illegible. <laughs> but there's my signature. So hopefully awesome. you have We have um, Emil backstage, Nick, and Emil got the uh, dual. Uh, print eight by ten of Chris and Caleb. Okay. All right. So let's right. add him. How's it going, Emil? What's up, Emil? Pretty good. Would you like us to make this specifically to you? Yeah, to you it? could. All right. Since I'm at work right now, and you can see where I where I work. Work at the post office. Delivery. Nice. That's the he's a mailman. Yes. That's the post office. He's not at the post office right now. Well, can't. that is my office right here. At the truck. Nice. Nice. Do you like being a mailman? Oh, I love it. Been in doing it for two years. Nice. Delivering all the good and bad news to the world. Yeah. Either way, but they love their packages. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Which no I better get to feeling sometimes. than showing up huh? home and then getting a package. Oh, yeah. Especially all my figures that I get the mail. Mm -hmm. uh, so I do have one question. Will you be in Boston in a few weeks? Um, I can tell you I will physically be there yes will i be doing anything i don't know ah if you get paid to work that's all that matters yeah so i'll, I'll be there will you see me though i don't know so yeah i haven't missed one in boston and it's the third one so well that's good hopefully yeah i got floor seats so hopefully nice, that'll be nice. hopefully i can make an appearance awesome 
Thank you. Thank awesome, you. Neil. Well, thank you, man, for joining us on Neil. your day at work. Thank you. It's a pleasure, man. All right. Have, have a good, good one. Day. You too. All right. I'm going to pump through a couple more of these, Andy, if you don't mind. We got Owen Davies. Can't make it with us today. And he wants to just sign. Owen. There you go, Owen. Larry Rivenberg. He's got a little inscription he wants. And you know, lime green. I guess this is. I don't really have a lime green. I'd say that later. I'd say the first. This one? one? Yeah. yeah. Make it during the day, which is fine. Makes my job a lot easier just handing them. <laughs> You're cleaning fake glasses. <laughs> yeah. There you go, Larry. That is your figure. Uh, Matt DeMeo. Just say. sign. Just sign. Matt DeMeo. Alrighty, and if you're marking the sheet, I'm doing Tyler Wood right now, just signed. Tyler Wood. Let's see, what color? Let's do wood. Ooh. It's one of those blues that, like, makes you look, go dizzy, like, trying to stare into it, you know? Yeah. Get a little cross-eyed. It's right. a piercing blue. A pure blue, a cerulean, if you will. Jason Falk right here. He said, any inscriptions? So I guess whatever y'all like. You want to write something on here, too? Nah, it's probably just for you. And, guys, I, I see the comments. We are sold out of figures, so I apologize, but they sold out as quick as we could get them. So we don't have any for sale. Um, Jason, I wrote hello. There you go, Jason. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Wait, here's the sticky note. Thank you. Doug Purvis. Auto and green, boot and yellow. Catching up on yellow. Oh, man. <laughs> there you go, Doug Purvis. Doug. Multicolor Doug. Uh, Brandon Porter, I guess, just signed. Brandon. Brandon Porter. Brandon Purple. Ooh, that's good. Every color just works with my figure. I was going to say, I think. Uh, they just all look so go good. Wrong. All right, Troy Shoot wants a green paint pen. They're all paint pens, Troy. Yeah, exactly. Gosh. Believe it or not, we've had people try to sign them with a regular Sharpie. It doesn't turn out too good. Never does. <laughs> Can you buy paint pens at like a craft store? Actually, that's where I got those from, from uh, Michael's, I think it was. Mm. Hobby Lobby, excuse me. To Nick, to Nick. and Otto. Yeah. Mine? Yes. Oh, you? Yeah. Yep. Got it. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I, th I think they know that it's there. Yes, sorry, sorry. I'm just... <laughs> My bad. <laughs> yeah, don't come live anymore, guys. Yeah. You, ru you ruin it. <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Brandon Savage, Brandon, this is yours. Just an auto. I get purple. Brandon. Macho man. Yep. And the Macho Man Savage. Alrighty, we have Jonathan. I don't know what much of that. You're better at that than I am. Kudik. Jonathan Kudik. Yeah. Kudik. Just an I didn't know if that was a C or a yeah, B at first, and I was going to say Kuthi. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I'll do blinding blue. So, question for you, Chris. Uh, yeah. Fan wanted to know. What was it like training at CAP and training under Brian? Uh, it was amazing. Um, they really took me under their wing, and I am, like, forever in debt 
to that place. I love them. It's just, it was such a, um, a family too. Um, it's like once, like they're they're strict in a way that like they want everyone to take that what they do seriously because. It is you, if you're not going to get anywhere if you don't do it seriously. And um, once they see that you are serious about it, that's like like they're they're going to help you no matter what, and they're gonna they're not going to let you fail. And um, that's what I just love about that place is that they just, especially not knowing anything about wrestling, they everyone there, every single person, um, not just Brian or Pat, the head trainers, but like VSK and. So a bunch of other people, they just really took me under their wing and like refused to let me fail. So that's what I love about that place. Awesome. Uh, And then they had a follow up question. They just wanted to know, what is it? uh, How does it feel to see so many people come out of cap uh, with you at AEW? Obviously, you've got Mark and Max and MJF. How Mm -hmm. was that? I love it. It's so it's so nice. It's so nice that we get to all continue our little family on a bigger platform from where we were like five years ago, barely knowing what we were doing um, to now getting to share this bigger stage together. It's really just like, so it's so heartwarming to like have those people there for you, no matter what physically, emotionally. Yeah. Cool. All right. I'm going to get this for saying this is for Raj. 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 And I'm assuming just an auto. No, Nick, not just an auto. Hang on for Raj. Okay. He sent um he would like it. Hold on one second. Can he have her inscribed boop? And then the galaxy's greatest alien in green or pink. Whichever you think is better. Boop and then the galaxy's greatest alien. To Raj Aldu. Hmm? Raj Aldu. I don't know what that is. He trained Batman. Where do those come from? Bam. Oh my god. Where did you get those from? <laughs> from under the table. Are you Raj? To Raj. Name that wrestler. There you go. Who is, you wouldn't believe how expensive some of those things Who is this, Chris? Days. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything. Oh, cool. Where did the Hasbro Coco Beware come from? <laughs> I When I tell you I don't know anything about Who wrestling, well, that's Jake the Snake. <laughs> I tell you I don't know anything about wrestling. Who is this? Big Boss Man. <laughs> you just <laughs> read <laughs> This is Matthews, and I gotta get a little inscription launch right there. Yours is being signed, Matthew Plowitz. Uh, a question from a fan: Who is your favorite wrestler in any era? I didn't watch wrestling. I don't know. Ask him. Okay. I just had a came on about a month ago doing this. Yeah, how's he doing? He's doing good. He's doing doing good. real good. I feel like we need to play the game of guess the wrestler from the bag with Chris. That's what he's saying. That's what he's trying to do. When I tell you I don't know anything, it's embarrassing. I'm trying to write a word. I need to write words. Uh, The fans asked me to. All right. Matthew Kaplowitz. There you go, Matthew. Thank you. All right, we got Edwin. Is that Pop Shango? <laughs> Edwin Asavato. Uh, yep. The fan wants to know how did you guys settle on your finisher or decide what your finisher would be? Hmm. My finisher is getting beat. And uh, every promoter I've worked for has decided that for me. <laughs> okay. Um, I wanted something, or I wanted to have options, which is why I have the 450 and then the Cradle Tombstone. 
um, something that I can do to everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, something that was different that you don't see a lot of people do, which is more so the cradle tombstone than the the New York guy. It's not reverse New York guy. Stop it. Oh, yeah. Don't listen to him. <laughs> All right, this is going to be for Matthew Penwell. <clears throat> Matthew Penwell, your figure is being signed. Now it is signed. Matthew Penwell. Thank you. All righty. Mike McMight. That's one of the only half rows I don't have. It's the razor and the purple jacket. Well, you can't have this one. I was going to say, it's going around. <laughs> Mike McKnight. There you go, Mike. There you go, Mike. Uh, Alan Rodek. And he's got a little... Uh, Name only either pink or light blue. We're going to do... Right there. Right here, yes. There you go. Alrighty. You, Tony, I know Tony's watching because look at the comments. Tony. Tony. There you go, Tony. We Brennan. see you. I see your comments. To Tony. Tony Baloney. I apologize for him. There you go, Tony. Your figure's being sad. To Tony, you're out there. We know you. We know you're there. Yep, the truth is out there. Uh, Marsha Jude. Marsha Jude. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Shut up. No. I will entertain myself. It's no one else. So Caleb fan wanted to know where did the name Black Pegasus come from? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was training. They wanted me to wear a mask because I sucked. Uh, I was a big Chris Benoit fan and Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero was the Black Tiger and Chris Benoit was the Pegasus, Pegasus kid. And uh, just boom. <laughs> That's how it happened. You're, you're, will you ever bring the character back? Uh, I've thought about it. I don't what is uh, own any of the of the gear anymore, so I'd have to invest in that. I mean, it was a fun idea. It was cool. You wore a mask? Yeah. When? I mean, all the time, currently. <laughs> when I first started, I wore I was the Black Pegasus. That was your first match? That was my first, yeah. Hmm. These are for Peggy Good. Peggy Good. Good. <laughs> Something like that. Just the autograph? Yep, just autograph on both of them. Peggy, yours is being signed as we speak. You're and... Peggy great to me. Okay. Stop trying to win everyone over. You're not a you're not a good guy. That's fine. Yeah. All right, Nick Rarby, and he wants his auto in green. Nick Rarby. There you go, Nick. Rarby. Alrighty. Let's see who else we oh, have. Shirt I got for you. Joshua Simon. Joshua Simon, your figure is being signed. Yes, David, I'm uh doing Tony's here in just a little bit. Yes. Joshua Simon. That's for you. There you go, Joshua. Uh, Ray. I'll say Ray Alves. Boot plus auto. All right. I don't know if I'm going too fast, Andy, for y'all. I'm just trying to wipe these figures out. Oh, no, we have got Ben backstage. We'll bring Ben in, but I can't find Ben. All righty, Ben. Ben Jim. Hmm? Benjamin. Ben, how's it going, man? Ben. <laughs> Yo, hi, how you doing? I'm doing What's great. Going, ben? This ben, is what did you, a bit surreal. What did you mm -hmm. get, Ben? Or did uh, you mail something? A card. A card. Oh. Do we do his card already, Nick? 
You might have done it. I've just got the email because I'm in the UK, so it's a bit messed up with the time. Oh, we got you. Oh, we got you, buddy. All right. We got, we got you, you there, man. So I'll move out. You'll get a chance to chat with these guys. and we'll. Yeah. You're what, six hours ahead of us? Uh, Yeah, it's half five at the minute. That's so. four hours. Oh. You were way off with this guy. Oh, my God. Whereabouts are you? Uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. Okay. That's where we're at right now. Um, my name. I just got to write my name. Why? Brain fart. You like yellow? I hope you like yellow because I signed it in yellow. That's perfect. Yeah. Anything, perfect. Anything from you? Awesome. Yeah. That's for Ben. <clears throat> ben in the UK. Yeah. I've been spending a lot of time watching you both. Oh, yeah? Appreciate yeah. it. Yeah. Probably I mean, more time watching him because he's been around for like 20 years now. Um, I'm not sure about I'm 20, but yeah. Off. I do remember him from a while ago, Caleb, definitely, yeah. but um, you, only from AEW, but... That's fair. Yeah. That's okay. Love it. Love all of it. Love the gimmick. Love everything. Thank you are so you, much. Are you... Uh, I got a bit of turning heel as well, or... No? Uh, what? Turning heel? Yeah. I don't know. The best. The That's my guess. And you probably can't give too much away, but that's my guess. Stay tuned. I will. Don't worry. Thing is, we get here in the UK. We get the we get Dynamite on Saturday, and we get Rampage on Tuesday. So you so, have to wait. Oh my god. Yeah. That's yeah. wild. Yeah, I know. So I, I have to like, catch up, really. Yeah. Do you have to and, um, like avoid spoilers online and stuff like that, or? I try to, but sometimes yeah, I, I can't. That's so annoying. Because so... I, like, I follow you on Instagram and stuff, so it's yeah. hard sometimes when I'll just be scrolling through and I'll see stuff. Um, yeah, but, it's hard to avoid it sometimes. Man, I mean, that's... I still watch it, and I, I watch the pay-per-views live, so that's it's good. still good for that. But, <laughs> yeah, it's good. I'm hoping you guys come over to the UK at some point, to be honest. I hope so, too. Yeah. Yeah. I was supposed to come to the UK during my uh, indie days. Yeah. And then the day that I was supposed to fly there, the Thomas Cook Airlines shut down. And oh, I was no. booked on a flight on it. And I couldn't go. So, Where were you wrestling for that? Do you remember? Um, the Schadenfreude and Friends Company. Have you okay, ever heard? Cool. Yeah, I was, supposed to, I was supposed to work for them. And it would have been my first time over there. I was so excited. And the whole airline was just like, no way. You're not going. Yeah. Not today. So. Sucks. Yeah. I mean, there's some good promotions here, to be honest. Um, yeah. Up and coming ones that people have dipped in and out of from mm -hmm. the US. So, I mean, even if AEW don't come over, it'd be good to see one or both of you over here at some point. That'd be cool. Yeah. Hopefully, we can make it over at some point. Aye. Right. Nice. Awesome. Right. Well, well, thanks, Ben, for joining us. Pleasure. Man. Yes. Nice talking Thank to you. you both. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye. Have a good one, man. All right, and then we'll do uh, Tony's right here in blue to Tony. And once it in blue. Blue, I'm going to do the blinding blue. Okay. It's interesting. Yeah, if you don't mind. Oh, like Tony, your figure is being signed. There you go, Tony. I had a tag team question for you guys. Uh, obviously, uh, Caleb, you've tagged with a few people over your career. Who was your favorite to tag with? Was it Trevor Lee, Tony Nice? Um, <laughs> yeah, I tagged with everybody. Uh, I, I think me and Tony had uh, a ton of chemistry. We wrestle similar styles. Uh, we have similar ideas on what we think wrestling should be so I, I think me and tony but uh, honestly like i tagged with cedric alexander for a long time uh i was i mean i've had fun with everybody i've been pretty fortunate to have really good tag partners cool. uh, i've never really like officially been in a tag team so i haven't really gotten the chance to like explore being a whole team together um i've also had a lot of random tag partners especially in aew but um uh, definitely 
uh, the two times that I've gotten to team with Orange were fun. Uh, but if, yeah. you had to, if you had to pick somebody to be a permanent tag partner with, who would it be? Or if you could, Ooh. anyway. I'm torn. I'm torn. Um, when it comes to girls, uh, early on, I teamed with Sheeta a whole bunch, and I would love to bring that back. But at the other time, at the other hand, me and Red have been really uh, on the same page lately. So we'll see. We'll see where it goes from there. Cool. I'm gonna knock these out. Uh, this one is two vents, and he's got the purple paint pan up top there. No, you put it there. I know. I'm sorry. This one, this is actually Chris's, but he wants two vents. So Chris, Vincent's figure is being signed right now. Uh, this is kind of a like a magenta. It's not very purple. It's purple. You know it. It literally says magenta. I was right. This is purple. This is magenta. Yep, magenta. He actually wrote that. He even wrote yeah, magenta yeah. paint yeah. pen. <laughs> you think you're so much better than yeah. all of us. I said purple, purple. too, so that's my fault. And he wants this one done in the same person. He wants the car done in blue. So we'll see how it turns all out. All right. It might it might not show up. I might have to do a different one, but we'll see. We'll give it a try. We can always wipe it off if we have to. We're trying to get it yeah, in Yeah, this is not working out too good. Uh, I don't like it. You yeah. can. I'm going to. It's also you. very uh, wet and not like yeah. writing words. I will override. Yeah, I'm going to wipe that off, please. And uh, I can do a white. I think white would definitely show it white. Better. White, yeah. Chris, I apologize. I'm going to override you. You can blame me, but blue is not showing up. Too blue great. on blue, man, and it's a light blue on a light blue. I don't know so where you thought you I was going to sign. You cuss me out, not Chris. Yeah. Yeah. See, look at that white right there. Yeah, better. Way better. I think this was the pen. Yep. Sure and then there's that. And we got Jamil Cruz. And I'm thinking he wants boot with your autograph. I'm going to assume that too. Are you happy you got Aaron Rodgers back, Kayla? Yeah. He's no Devontae. I mean, no, Devontae Adams is great. He'll, he'll make it work with whoever's oh, got around him. But well, There you go, Jamil. It sucks that he never just keep like a consistent yeah. crew. I'm a diehard Eagle fan, so I was hoping Rodgers would go out of the conference. Dan Hawkins to Dan the Man. Ah, he was on earlier. Say, uh, we well, talked to Dan the yeah, man earlier. I you, Dan. I'm sorry. Can you find Jeff Morlock's figure? If I haven't put it away, he wants to add an inscription. Dig through the whole pile of uh, You know, as much as Brett Favre is your number one childhood hero, you had to replace him this year when Aaron Rodgers beat his, his record. Yep. Uh, yes. What was it? The most passing march. Jeff, most, this most is your touchdowns. figure right here. I know you're watching and he wants, could you add Galaxy's favorite alien? Favorite. So Jeff, she's adding your inscription right now. I know you're watching because you just messaged me about that. I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to get that one. There you go, Jeff. Updated. Appreciate you helping us out today, too, Jeff. Oh, we got him in Philadelphia with the New Age Outlaws today. Ooh. All right, Brittany Bison. And it'll be just an autograph. Okay. Brittany, your figure is being signed. There you go, Brittany. Appreciate you. I'm really bad at holding these things like straight on to the camera. I'm always like. All right. Dalton Galvan. Two Dalton plus auto. Two Dalton. I'm going to do Dalton. a real purple for Dalton. Yeah, it's kind of lilac you over here. No, it doesn't. 
So I feel bad for these people that couldn't make it on live. I know it's Saturday. Normally we do our shows in the evening, but Saturday afternoons. Yeah, yeah, people are sleeping. So, uh, Matthew Vicente. Matthew, your figure's being signed as we speak. Who's playing music? There's something going on here. Who's oh, doing it? David turned on the, uh, we got background music, so it's not awkward yeah, silence. It's a new feature. Oh. Taylor Teal. Taylor Teal. She got a little inscription. Say she. That's true. We all thought Billy, Billy Badass yeah, was a boy. So. It's a girl. We all have been fooled. Andy thought some, somebody's little kid was a hole in yeah, the Yeah, okay, we couldn't just leave that in the, in the past, Nick. We couldn't just leave that in the past. <laughs> I they're going to catch it. Guys, you can still order an 8x10. We had a ton of pre-sales, so we're just bumping through that. Um, sold out of figures. Obviously, they sold out as soon as we announced that it was having this show. I knew they would last long. I'm just genuinely impressed at, like, how many people, I don't know, like, the figures, just such a big deal. Did you have any input in that, like, design-wise, or are they just, like, Print it and say, "There you go. That's what you get." <laughs> yeah, that was. I mean, I was. Uh, well, they, when they announced that I was getting figure, they used like my old promo pictures before this new look, and I was like, "Hey, uh, we're not using those, are yeah. we?" Because I hate that. I literally despise those pictures. And they were like, uh, "Let's double check." And then they're like, "No, we're doing the new ones." And I was like, "All right, good." Orlando O'Neill um, most, most uh Caleb, okay, when are you gonna figure out? Whenever and Peck gets crap we, together, we, I guess. We may have an inside scoop on that. We've been talking with Josh Matthews. Oh so yeah? A little bit. This was, um, this was, um, I don't want to spill too many uh details. Nobody tells me anything, so everything Josh Matthews, to me. the uh, husband of your Yep. Hey, we'll knock out some of these cards because believe it or not, we have pumped through these figures like it's going out of style. Somebody wanted somebody wanted to know, do you guys collect things yourselves? And if you do, what do you collect? I don't really collect anything. You have so much art pictures. I have and art stuff. and stuff, but I don't really have like collections. I don't have Funkos or anything. I like uh, concert posters that I've been to. Yeah, you're more of like a sentimental type collector. Yeah, things. she doesn't like crap. She doesn't like, she's got an action figure. She doesn't care about it. I brought her one of the holographic cards. She's like, eh, whatever. Um, I I just, I just don't like having too much stuff. I don't know. I'm, I'm just, I'm a black hole of emotion. I have when nothing. She's, when she's 50 and she has nothing that she did when she was, you know, popular and in demand. She's just gonna be an old cat lady, old dog lady, old reptile lady. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do That's Lucas. Fine. I'm not butchering that last name, but Lucas. Let's see. Figure is being see if she can get this one right. It's, it's my handwriting, is what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Cuckoo, cool. Cucuccio, maybe. Anyway, Lucas, your figure is being signed. Right anyway. It's Lucas Cacuccio. There you go, Lucas Cacuccio. Olive Mule. Here's your figure. Appreciate you. Thank you, Olive. Dream match outside of AEW. I don't know. I don't really have a dream match, but one, uh, ah, Cucuccio, I was right. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, you know, one person who I've never wrestled, which would be, um, it's kind of like wild how we've never wrestled considering we were on a bunch of shows together and, uh, always wrestled in the same area is me and Deanna. Never, ever wrestled once. Well, you 
Thanks. Maybe. maybe. What do you mean? Maybe the shits. Who knows? What is the truth? Oh, we, we answered that one. Uh, being the best friends. Uh, Family feud. This one is going to be for the Edmund Lang. And he's got a little inscription there. And he wrote it on an Ethan Page COA. How about that? Nice. <laughs> Edmund, your finger is being signed. There you go, Edmund. Sorry you couldn't make it on. I know everybody's good. I hope we'll go back and just watch it get signed. So. Can you stop messing with my laces before I mess with your face? Oh, wait, wait. Edmund. There you go, Edmund. We will send this back with the Ethan Page with, stuff. Yep, yeah, comes with an Ethan Page POA. <laughs> uh, we got a Don Mills card. Andy, again, let me know if I'm going too fast for your list. I apologize if yeah. I am. Uh, you know, Andy, step your game up. Yeah, I think he wants it signed in gold, though, Nick. Huh? Don Mills wants it signed in gold. In gold? Gold. Um, yeah. yeah. Gold. Sharpie. Sharpie. Work perfect. You're not going too fast, Nick. I'm doing the list. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I know we're doing good. All right. <laughs> Don Mills. Gold Sharpie. Yeah, there it is. Great. David, do you have any idea how Shane, he's got some, I guess, high dollar cards. He's got them in a really case. Shane Powell? Yeah. He just wants Boop and Signature on all. Okay. All right, Boop and Signature on all. Any color preference? He didn't put a color preference, but what colors are the cards, Nick? Uh, this the blue ones. It's just like a one of 199. It's a Matt Relic oh, one. Oh, it's thick. Like. How about this, like Probably. a stack? Oh, maybe we'll do the white. Yeah, yeah, white will look good on there, yeah. Oh, it's got a piece of fabric in it, too. For a month. Those calls are becoming expensive. I'm just trying to see where this piece of fabric is from. It, say, it should say on the back, I would think. I don't know if the AEW ones did or not. It, it's, a fa it's a relic. It's got a it's thing. Really, it's, it's got, got a the, thing in there. Yeah, I don't know if it, if it tells you where it's from, though. Oh, maybe it's one of those t-shirt things. It's one of those pieces of a t-shirt, I think. Yeah. Because I remember they had us put a t-shirt on and wear it. And then be like, here's a picture. This person wore this at the Steve's. COVID. <laughs> it's coughing, not die. sneezing. Ah, uh, oh, no. <laughs> I ran out of room on that first one. Sorry. P is really tiny. <laughs> All right, there really tiny. I'll, I'll, no, I'll adjust it for the next two. Ooh. That's exactly what it is. And same thing, just the auto with poop. All right, I fit the full word in that time. There you go, Shane. Back you know what I think this picture is of? Because this picture was literally the day I tore my ACL. Mm. It was from that match because I've only worn that gear twice. Yeah. That, that, that's not the. Okay. That's no, the double or nothing. The one won against Penelope. And my hair was in a ponytail for that match. This one was the day that I tore my ACL. And I know that because um, I'm literally, this was when we had the uh, other wrestlers around the ring and MJF made a comment. And this is literally me yelling at MJF in my entrance. <laughs> and then later on in the match went on to tear my ACL. So thank you for, thank you to uh, Upper Deck for Immortalizing that moment. Immortalizing this moment of that day, June tenth, twenty twenty. You're welcome. Oh, that too, the news. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Very good, dirt sheets. I know you're watching. Please. Yeah, June tenth, twenty twenty. I tore my ACL because I yelled at MJF. Blame him. Did you see someone said that they love your work? In fact, I missed it. 
There you no, go. There it is. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Sean. Joshua Simon, and this is called real popular. Joshua Simon. Well, now that everyone knows all this meaning behind it. Joshua Simon. There you go, Joshua. Where's, uh, Finn wants to know, where's a place you guys would love to go to wrestle that you, obviously, a pandemic has happened, you haven't been able to travel much, but where would you like to go to wrestle, another country or a place? Hmm. I know he wants to go to Japan. Yeah. I was there in 2011. It was great. I uh, had a couple close calls of going back. I would really like to go back. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoy the culture. I enjoy the, you know, just regular life culture. I enjoy the wrestling culture. Yeah. You know, I've never been to Japan, so I would like to go there, too. All right. Amanda Rush, this is your card. Courtney's sister. <laughs> is it? Maybe. There you go, Amanda. Amanda, Appreciate thank you. you. Uh, this one is going to be to Mike. So, Mike, somebody, your card is being sent out. Mike, somebody. That's it's Michael Death Roachers. Alrighty. Thank you, David. To Mike. There we go, Mike. And we're going to do Aubrey. I actually put my finger on it and smeared it so I wiped it off. Aubrey, we are redoing your card now. That was my fault. Oh. Nice job, it. Nick. Uh, hey, let's <laughs> go right. Real professional. <laughs> You don't get to touch that one yeah, for a little bit. A good set. And uh, Shane, I know we've done your cards just a little while ago. We're doing your figure right now. Uh, so that's Shane as well. Auto plus the poop. Shane. There you go, Shane. That is all your items. And I've got Robert Duffy. Is going to have his item signed. I'm assuming he wants it in pink. Thinks he's got a pink marker. Take that out. Uh -huh. It doesn't matter. It's the same. It's the same marker. I'm just going to use the one. Robert, your figure is being signed. Robert, big fan of your wrestling league. Shut up. And I want to say for the live items, David, am I missing anything? Have I missed anything for the non- Eight by ten live items. There's a few eight by tens that need to be done, but I'm going to ask about a couple that maybe you, we overlooked. Have you done Ray at Vilas yet? Yes, I've done Ray. He is somewhere, but I remember saying that name because I called him Alves. All right. Yep. What about Edwin Acevedo? Um, this is Ray's right there that has been signed. It's beautiful. What about Edwin Acevedo? I remember his name. Give me one All second. Right. Uh, yep. We don't have to show it again if we did already, Nick. It's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay. And then Bernard Crum Crumrine, he had a poster. Ooh, that's, a new one. that's a good one right here. Good, uh, good catch. Right. Uh, Bernard Crumrine, Stillander Auto. I'm assuming in gold. Gold. Well, it looks like everything else is gold. Gold. Yeah. Oh. Gold gold. Is that CM Punk? It's gonna be an expensive. It's like right in my way. Got yeah, all of this room right here. He's all up in my way. Philip Seymour Punkman. See you back stage there, Matt. We'll get you in in a second, man. All right. There you go, Bernard. All right, Shiv, if you can pop these up on the screen, we're going to do the 8 by 10 to the folks that couldn't make it. Cool. Uh, our, our first one will be the, the black and white with belt. AAW one? 
Yeah, and we're just gonna do two Jeff, and he'd like you to write thanks. To Jeff, thanks. Yep. Do you want me to sign it? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. To Jeff, thanks, and signature. Is Jeff J E F F? Got it. Good call because okay. I know they spell it differently. Thank you, Jeff Jarrett, for watching. Thanks. Nobody called that. Call them slap nuts. <laughs> <laughs> all right um uh, one two let's do the next one the shib it will be the charlotte hornets one and they just want it signed Diego. Perfect. And then the other Caleb one, Legends of Wrestling. All right. Just that signed also. Just be signed as well. Oh, the Shadow Brandy. Yeah. yeah. All right. Next one will be the uh, dual sign. It will be this one. Just throw it at me. <laughs> I dropped we'll it. We got two Zach, Z A C H. Pick the color. Z A C H. You picked bad colors. Two Zach. Perfect. And he also got this one too, Zach. Z A C H. Okay. Ooh, ah. What was supposed to be an 8 by 10 we made 11 by 14 Mm-hmm. One bang free buck. Yep. Y'all got us on this one. There you go, Zach. All right. Next one is this one. Yep. And we're going to do it to Anthony. It's spelled A N T O N Y. Anthony. Missing letter there. No. Because it's Anthony, not Anthony. Yep, Anthony. You got it. <laughs> and I know that because I have a cousin named Anthony. All right. Next one is this one to be dual signed. And that one will be to Isaac. I S A A C. And then we'll do this one, the Legends promo. That one's also to Isaac. You got it. Here you go, Isaac. Dr. Isaac. Sir Isaac Newton. Sir Isaac Fig Newton. All right, the next two is the same person. He got this one. This is for Isaac also? No, these will be for Eduardo. That's not... He, he won't... Eduardo's getting the... That one too. He's going to get both. That one and this one. Okay. Both to Eduardo. E-D-U-A-R-D-O. -R yep, you got it. U A R Ah. This one, this one got a tiny bit leaky right there. Oh, so just, yes. just be careful. And then 
This one's also to Eduardo. Yep. Ah. Maybe I'll use that one. Okay, well. Do we have one exploded on us? Sean, she answered that earlier. She said John Moxley. <laughs> <laughs> And then Caleb said to make it a tack match, thumbtack match. Okay, okay, baby wipes. I just wiped it on the Are you sure? thing. <laughs> um, okay, good. Two. G D U A R D O. Whew. Back on track over here. Uh, All right, next one will be this, what we call sneakers. Okay. They're fake. Yeah, we know. We're going to make that to Brian, B-R-I-A-N, and he'd like you to sign it and add boot. And Nick, did you do Chris Capri Gillioni's mail-ins? Uh, yes, I did. Uh, oh, cool. The, uh, the one of those two bits and... One more. But yes, Can you get Zachary Sells uh, card. Yes, somewhere over here. All right. All right. Next one will be the black and white with the belt. Got it. And that one will be to Pete. Thanks for being awesome. Love, Chris Atlander. He wants me to tell him thanks for being awesome? Yep, I guess so. All right. <laughs> what are you going to do? Pete's awesome. All right, this one's for Caleb, the one with the vest. All right. And he just wants you to put two Nick and sign. All right. Do you want this one? Next one. All right, wait, there you go. Sneakers again. And that'll be just sign. Okay. I don't know who that's for. Oh, the one that Caleb did? No, the one that I did that's just signed. Oh, okay. That's uh that one was for Alex Sorty. Okay. To Nick. The next one will be Galactic, which is this one. Okay. And we're going to make that to Andrew and sign. And we got one of these for you, Caleb, just signed. Next one will be that same Galactic. And he wants you to put two Tyler. Boop, thanks for being a fan. Thank you for being a fan. I like that. That's a great show. I actually just finished binge watching that again. <laughs> I've not watched this since I was a child. You should go back. It hits differently as an adult. That's what I hear. People have told me that. But you, you appreciate Dorothy a lot more as an adult. <laughs> Give it a shot. All right, beautiful. There you go, Tyler. Our next one will be the black and white with the belt again. Which is this one here. And he'd like you to write to Peter, my special friend, and sign it. My special friend, Peter. Yep. And then we got one of these for you, Caleb, just signed. Any color you'd like. I think Peter also got the collage, David. Okay, that's fine. We'll go back a little bit too. I assume he wants the same thing.
Peter. Yep, and he got that this one too, and you'll sign it the same way to Peter, my special friend. Was this signed to anyone? Uh, that's for Joseph. Thanks, Joseph. And then we got another suicide, just signed. This one will be for John. You're welcome, Tyler. There you go. And then Peter. There you go. Nick, unless you have anything else, sir, that wraps up our list. Um, the rest of us, we don't have nobody cares to watch us sign a couple of things. So, uh, did we have to, Nick, did we have to do that vest live? Uh, no. That does not have to be live. No, the vest can be done offline. All, All right, right, well, any final words for your fans before we let you finish up with Nick? Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, uh, thank you for being a fan. Thank you for being a fan. I like fan. it. Now you need a shirt that says that. You can do it. I'll do it? Okay. Yeah. Just looking old, he's the old, one. like a golden girl. I mean, you got the hair. Yeah. Hey, I'll, come, I'll come dress up as uh, uh, Betty White or something, and I'll be on that shirt with you. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't mind. Uh, thanks. Uh, continue to check us out on mm -hmm. Impact and AEW. And, uh, tell every company that you love us. Yep. Tell everyone. Tell all your friends. Uh, let them know. <laughs> tell your parents. Well, thanks everyone for joining us uh, and we appreciate all the mailings and the love and support for both of them and uh, we will see you guys in a couple weeks with uh, John Silver what? <laughs>